Hey guys, welcome to Sheen or Deathmark, uh, a game that just released in Japan, well not just, uh, 16 days ago to be exact. Came out 1st of June, uh, but I haven't been able to get around to it sooner because I'm working on Shin Hayayigami right now, so, as you know. Um, but I was so curious that I kind of want to just push one episode in between to get a feel of what kind of game this is. Um, if this game is also fully text-based, like Shin Hayayigami, then I'm definitely pushing it back a couple months, probably. <clears throat> um, but... It seems to be like some sort of gameplay involved as well. Maybe it's more like point and clicky. I'm not sure. So that's what we're gonna check out this episode. And I hope you guys are excited. We got two girls. She dyed her hair. Ne ne, kai ni karaoke yotte kanai. So let's go to karaoke after. I will, of course, sub everything. As you can see, it's subbed. Um. New song, Love and Hero. Hmm. Kyo wa sunna kibun janai kamo. I might not be in the mood. I heard something really bad just now. Tell me. What was it about? Yamaguchi. Oh, you know the Yamaguchi guy? Oh, girl? Yeah. Girl. <clears throat> oh, disappeared. Really? Yukue fume. I always like that that word, yukue. I like pronouncing it. Uh, yukue fume is uh, someone disappeared without a trace. They don't know where someone is. Just disappeared. In the library. I just heard it from someone. Oh yeah, so this one again is very about urban legends. I think the dudes at Nipponichi really, really like their urban legends. <laughs> I like it too, so I'm good. Okay, she was looking into something, but then she just disappeared. Uh, very serious kind of person. So they didn't think she would just go home without saying goodbye to anyone. So they checked where she was, where she was seated, and... Oh, well, I think she's dead. Well, I guess she could be alive, but... They only found her arm. <laughs> and the pen. she's still holding the pen. <laughs> uh, okay, and so because of her marks, a weird mark on her arm, as you can see, I think that's the death mark then. They knew it was Yamaguchi. It was like she was bitten by a dog. Okay. Oh, so that mark... So, her... the mark... That's like, not... Not where the arm got cut off, but before that, it looks like a tattoo. That's the mark, and it looks like... A dog bite, but it is like dark, and she says she doesn't know when she got it. She just had it. Are you for real? I'm happy it's very easy to read this so far, so this might be a lot easier than Shin Hayayigami. Um, and let's see, Miu, I think is that is her name, had the same mark. <clears throat> She's also missing. Shit! Oh, and I bet the girl that's telling the story also has a mark. Yabakunai <laughs> sore! They really are like talking like schoolgirls. Moshikashite sa. Re no noroi no aza uwasa. Machi datta li shite. So, what if it's real? Yamete yo! Kimochi yorei! It's like, stop it! It's gross! He has a mark on his arm. Uh, oh, this is the dudes. So then I heard them talk about the story. <clears throat> no way they can actually believe that. They're just bored and 
talking to kill time uh, on their way home. It's just a rumor. Day's almost over. It's getting late. I have to hurry. Where are you going, dude? What's happening? Also, I saw online that this game is really long. Like, <clears throat> I'm not sure how long one playthrough is, but people are losing like 10, 20, 30 hours into this game. <laughs> so we'll see how far I get. And um, based on the initial reaction to this video, I'll decide if I make more or not. Okay, so then they hear, hear that piercing sound. Ooh, is that the school building? Holy shit. It's like a palace. Okina Yoka. So a western style building. Oh, it wasn't there before? Oh. <gasps> That's cool. Oh, and he hears that sound again. And his vision gets blurry for a sec. Okay. His head feels like it's getting scrambled, I think. What time is it? Wait, so that dude just got transported? <clears throat> Don't have a watch. I'm sure I put it in my pocket. But all I find is a, is a business card. There's a name on it. Am I supposed to be able to read that? Kan Shujin. Oh, I can. Never mind. Shindei <laughs> Kyujo Saya. Holy feck! Uh, holy feck! I can actually read it. So, um, spiritual... I'd say, like, someone who heals you spiritually. Uh, called Kujo Saya lives here and owns this building. I think. So it's a picture. So this is the Kujokan. Okay, so he, he knows the building. Kujo Saya. I feel like I've heard that name before. Let's check it out. Are we gonna check it out? Knock on the door. Ah, so when I not use my right hand to knock on the door. I see a mark. Oh, I have a mark too. <laughs> I see a mark. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, it's for him, it's here. Kimyo na katachi shita azada. Weird mark. When did I get that? Am I just imagining things? I get a chill. Oh, those hands in the background. Holy shit. I only saw it when it clicked away. Hello, let me in. Okay, I knock on the door and I like, I loudly knock on the door, but no one answers. Well, it's a huge, f oh, fucking house. Ooh, lights gone on the second floor. Uh, it's very far away. It's pretty far away from the front door. So there's no way they could have heard the knock. Maybe they could have. You don't know. Turn the knob and it's not locked. I'll, I'll wait here. Uh, I'll apologize to the owner later that I... that I got in and I enter. Okay. Very easy to read so far. It's a big relief. Like, Shina Harigami really is a chore to read. Is there something up there? There is something up there. Must be a window. It's uh, dark. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Um, we can see a little bit from light that enters the windows. I can hear a clock. But other than that, nothing. Wow, it's even like I don't even have to sub. My translations are on point. <laughs> okay, so this is the entrance hall. 
I can see stairs going up. Okay. Tanika inai naka? Anyone here? I can. I tried raising my voice, but no one answers. <clears throat> Can't hear anything upstairs. Oh yeah, where we saw the light. Looks like I'll have to go up. I guess we're gonna try and find the light source. Okay, I look up the stairs. Okay, and we cross the hall. I mean, we did ask if there was anyone here. <clears throat> then I heard a strange noise. When I look the way the noise came from. What is it? It's a doll. Yami no naka ni dareka ga iru. Someone in the darkness. Jitto kochira no hou wa omite iru yo da. It's looking this way. A selection. Okay, here we go. Finally. Some gameplay. Mishiste ni kai iku. So, are we gonna ignore it and go upstairs? Are we gonna talk to the doll or are we gonna approach the doll? I wanna approach it. Uh, okay, slowly approaching the doll. Seems to be asleep. A doll of a girl. Okay. No reaction to me approaching it. I'm probably just imagining things. Okay, so it doesn't look like she's breathing. It's a dead body. Is it? It's not a doll at all. There's uh, sweat running down my back. What should I do? I would move away from her then. I am not gonna touch her if she's dead body. I don't wanna get cops on my back. Whew, that made me nervous, holy shit. They did a good job there. Um, careful of my footing, I go up the stairs. Is it midnight? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's probably gonna go, keep going. Until I click forward, yeah. Too bad. It was really cool if it was like 12 and then it stopped. I could hear something f something from above me. The clock! The clock in the darkness. That's where the sound's coming from. Approach the clock. Go to the room and ignore it, clock. Wait for it to stop. I'm gonna wait for it to stop. Okay, waiting for the sound to stop. Daga, hitsumade, tattemo. Doesn't stop no matter how long I wait. That's what I actually did. That's really cool. I was like waiting for it to stop and then it didn't. Okay, maybe the clock's broken. Approach the clock. Uh, mice, okay. Going up and approach the clock. Okay, old old style clock. Yeah, so this is uh, definitely where the sound's coming from. I try to see inside the clock and reach out for the glass door. Oh, then it stops. Back to silence and just the ticking of the clock. Okay. It just fixed itself. What what good timing. <laughs> or is it just coincidence? I don't know, dude. Okay, so now we're gonna head over to the room where we saw the light. Okay, I knock on the door. Does he see like light coming from under the door or something that he knows exactly where it is? No answer. I knock a couple more times 
and I try raising my voice, but there's no response. I reach out for the door. Oh, it's really dark again. That's weird. When I looked from outside, the light was on. Can we turn on the light? I smell something weird. It's a sweet fragrance. It's, it fills the entire room. Aromatherapy. <laughs> I wonder if it's aromatherapy. But it's a really unsettling smell. It's like it's drawing me in, and I move to the center of the room. I hear something... my footstep... Uh, no wait. I see something at my feet that unsettles me. Yeah, that's what he says. The floor is wet. Is it blood? Is that the smell? I noticed that the smell, that the sweet smell I'm, I was smelling is mixed with something else. Okay, it smells fresh and unsettling. Oh, that one! That's real, that, like that's one of the pictures that made me want to get this game. It's really cool. We'll, I'll show you in a bit, probably. For one flash, the, the room was lit and I saw something. Uh, spread out on the floor. Oh, oh shit, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! <gasps> ah, fuck! No, 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 don't come near me. Ah, no, 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 shit. There's a, <laughs> there's a centipede. They're really poisonous. I'll be right back. Well, that was interesting. It got away. It ran into, like, a corner of the room. There's, like, a little hole, and it just disappeared, so... I should really not be sitting here with bare feet, but it's too hot. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> if, it be if it bites me, then that's a trip to the hospital. I'll be there a couple of days. <sighs> okay, focus. Sorry about that. It's a grotesque scene. I can't believe the fucking centipede crawled on the desk. It was so close to my legs, too. Jesus, fuck. Okay. I saw something strange. Look away or look at it? I'm gonna look at it. Of course I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, there it is! Uh, it was so strange. I can't look away. Ugh. Is that why it's smelling so sweet? Because it's like flowers and stuff? comes from her stomach and she's covered in blood I'm still recording right yeah okay now I look away uh, I can't get the image I can't remove the image from the back of my mind the hellish image that I just saw my whole body shakes. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. Oh, there's someone standing there! Who's that? <laughs> Am I dead? Oh, she's gone. The lights are back on. Yeah. That's, that's not just it. The body is gone. Yeah. Okay, this goes beyond my comp comprehension. Seems like a bad dream. But that would be easy. That would be the easy way out if it was a bad dream. I can still smell uh, some sweet fragrance and the blood. Where did it go then? Um, I'm trying to get away, so I leave the room. Okay, we're back in the living room, uh, the main hall. Now the lights are on, we can see the clock and everything. 
Yeah, lights are on. So I look around me again. Where's the doll? Or body? Lots of uh, fancy items, antiques. Okay, looks like an old hall. Oh, she's awake now. Oh, it's definitely a doll though, looking by the arms and stuff. The joints. There's a doll on the sofa. Okay, so this is what I saw in the dark. Yeah, I can see that her joints, from her joints, that she's not human. I wonder if this is also someone the owner has. Uh, like the, the house owner's things. One of the house owner's things. So what should I do now? Should I contact the police? Yeah, how, so how is he going to tell them that he saw a woman with plants growing out of her and then she disappeared? <laughs> if someone can believe that... Oh, she's not going to say the word? So, welcome to Kajukan. If that's how you read it, I'll have to look it up. But... She blinked. The doll's moving, talking. Okay, so shivers are running down my spine, or something is happening to him, like he doesn't, he reacts in a scared way. Okay, now the text is getting a little bit complicated. This is different. The doll is looking at me and talking. Did I... did I surprise you? Sorry if I did. So this is the doll talking. Um, I don't really pretend to just be a doll, but I have been ordered by my master. She's talking very eloquently. But she doesn't show a single emotion. Um, so she she looks like a human, but she is a doll, after all. Be a doll! Okay, so she folds her arms. So she can move. Sorry about my late greetings. My name is Mary. Oh, hello, Mary. Okay. What you saw. I don't know what I was just doing with that. So, Kujo Saya sama wa shirushi kara ni. Hmm? Couldn't run away from shirushi? So the dead body is... Oh, Shirushi, the mark. Oh, okay, so there was no escaping the mark. So that lady, that girl that was on the floor, was Saya. Kujo Saya, the owner of this mansion. So, is dead. What does he mean? she mean with Shirushi? Yeah, that's the mark. Uh, she was looking into a way to escape the mark. You have the mark too. Were you called here by my master? So this is the shirushi she's talking about. Yeah, the mark. I wonder if she called me here. I'm trying to think about it, but my head hurts. Don't know how long I should make it. I think this is a good place to cut it. Because um, I did have a tiny break with trying to get the centipede out of here. But um, I think this is a good, like, 
very first snippet of the game to kind of give you a sense of what it's going to be like. I personally really like the amount of choices we've had so far. Like, um, everything, you have three choices, and so far at least. And it really gives you the sense that you're in control and you can die if you make the wrong choice. Unlike Shin Harigami where it's just like, you're just getting through the story and it's just like dialogue options, but this is more like, what will you do options. If you know what I mean. It seems a little bit more game than a visual novel. Um, I've also seen a little bit more like you'll you'll get like inventory items and stuff, or at least from screenshots I've seen. There will be like inventory items and you'll have to probably like walk around and try to solve stuff. But I'm not sure. Like I know almost nothing from this game. It's a Japan only release so far. I don't think this is gonna come to the West. So I'm definitely interested in translating more of these. This. Um, it wasn't too hard so far, so I might be able to do more um, than what I did for Shin Harigami. You can see it's always it's also like way less text. Uh, the dialogue options are super short and to the point. And visual novel Shin Harigami is more like like a book, so it's very like long sentences and very nicely written. It's really nice, but it's also really hard for me. Um, so I definitely see myself picking this up after Shin Hayagami, but let me know if you're interested. There's actually another game coming out soon as well um, that I will have to look into. I kind of forgot the name at the moment, but I think there's another game coming in July that I was interested in. So it's so we'll have to pick which one we're going to do. There's also Shikyoku. Two, two chapters are out right now that I still haven't done because of Shin Hayagami. So um, let's do that. That's more important. So tell me in the comments if you want to see this or Shikyoku. Um, maybe Shikyoku would be better first because that's only two chapters, so that would be like eight episodes, and then we can move on to this. Or we're going to do this first, but there's no telling how long this game is going to be. It could be easily 30 episodes, I don't know. Uh, but I am definitely intrigued so far, so kind of interested, but yeah, let me know. That concludes the first episode. I hope to be back with this. I am interested, but I will leave it up to you guys what you want to see first. And there's so there's a lot of Japanese indie horror indie horror coming out. Um, so definitely have to make choices and leave some games behind for now. Um, if you were wondering, definitely doing Shin Hayagami, uh, uh, Shin Yomawari 2, which comes out in August. Definitely doing that right away. But that's a couple months away, so uh, before until Shinyo Mawari comes out, we're gonna fill our time with one of these games. Uh, and there's another one coming out that I just mentioned, but I forgot the name. So I'll leave a comment below myself with which games are coming out, with a link where you can find them. You can have a look and then tell me which one you want to see. Let's do it. Sorry for the long outro. Hope you guys like it. And I'll see you soon with Shin Hayagami. I'm gonna go back to that now. I finished that first. So thanks. Bye!